Right, what's going on? Welcome back to another TK421 Collectibles video. Today we're going to be having a look at TMS091 half trooper and the atrt <laughs> let's have a look at this gigantic thing tk421 why aren't you at your post as usual let's have a look at this packaging gigantic box here with the uh, half trooper and the atrt looking absolutely amazing and then the bottom folds up like that then we can see this inlay card covering the clamshell, looking stunning there. There are five old first guys. And then here we have the figure and the machine itself. Let's get these guys out and have a look at everything that we get. Let me see your identification. Right, this thing is absolutely amazing. And it, it comes like already in the sitting position. You get two of these things which you plug in here just to kind of shore it up a bit and then we get a longer version for when he stood up and then we get an antenna antenna thing here which we'll just plug in now so the longer bit goes towards the seat and it just plugs in like that again that adds a heck of a lot of height to the <laughs> to the model um so I don't know where, like I say, I don't know where this is going to go, to be honest. And then on the underside, so I'll plug the uh, the blaster cannon in, just sticks in in there. Plug the and plug this wire pipe thing up into there like that. Yeah, so I think that's supposed to sit flush with that. There we go. That's in. Looking amazing that. And that can articulate up and down like that. And obviously left and right. <laughs> that looks awesome. And then the handlebars, obviously move them up like that. Get them in the correct position. And then we get these foot pedals. They just fit in under this bit. Like that. Dead easy. But wow, this is looking absolutely stunning. Like the weathering on it. Just let's try and zoom in a bit. Look at this, this canister here, whatever that is. And we've got the 501st badge at the front there. It's just an absolute beast. <laughs> and this is just in the sitting position as well. So let's, uh, let's zoom out a bit and then see if we'll stand up. So well, like packaged, well designed. Looks absolutely amazing. So I may have to display this sat down, but for now, let's have a look, see if we can get him stood up, try and do it. Um, without snapping and breaking stuff. So that's, that's really, that's really strong that. Like ratcheted, quite difficult to move, which is good. I was a bit worried um, that the joints might not be able to kind of cope with the weight of it, I guess. And there it is, in all its amazing glory. Look at that. I can't believe how gigantic this is. <laughs> Especially with the antenna as well on there. Going right up there. It's huge. Look at these uh, tanks on the side of it. All the weathering on it. Looking absolutely stunning. And obviously there's gigantic chicken legs at the bottom. Like the paws on it. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, it looks so impressive in person. Wasn't sure what it was going to turn out like, but absolutely phenomenal that. I'm not even, it seems a bit slightly top heavy, but I'm not sure whether I just need to move them legs around a bit, but let me know in the comments what you think about this one. Absolutely crazy. So, so it's, this is definitely, definitely the star of the show. Not even looked at the trooper yet. It's an absolute beast, packed with incredible detail as you can see. You know, the weathering on the legs, all the hydraulic details. And then there I've added those hydraulic bits into there. Looking amazing. 
just adds a bit of extra support to the legs. I guess that's why it was seemed a little bit top heavy, but that's just that's just my fault that. But yeah, looking absolutely stunning. And obviously we've got all the amazing like machinery and pistons and hydraulics and everything, and we got this uh well, the, the weathered chair here and this kind of display. Yeah, the display looks really cool. I'm not actually sure what it's showing but uh, hopefully it picks up on video okay. Give me regular reports, please. Right, so the, the ATRT is worth the price of admission, I think, straight out of the box. Absolutely amazing. But we also get a trooper as well, it's the half trooper. Uh, and again, just a standard 501st trooper, really. But he has got these detachable face flaps, uh, and there's his standard helmet which I mean looks good looks pretty good that I wasn't um 100% impressed with that style of helmet to be honest but the fact you got to swap out flaps <laughs> is pretty cool and they just magnetize in place like that looking fantastic and we also get uh, an antenna for the helmet let's pop that on now and there's the antenna installed absolutely fantastic that looks great I do like these magnetic flaps they work really well yeah, and then that antenna just slots into place like that looking really good and then the accessories we get is the, the standard sort of clone trooper blaster rifle and blaster pistol looking fantastic and again obviously we've seen them a million times and all this fold out stuff looking good a pair of macro binoculars again great detail on them I've seen them a few times now with the um, I think the battle droid came with one of these as well and then we get this set of hands relaxed pointing pistol holding you know trigger weapon holding hands and the the two kind of handlebar grip hands like on the figure itself there and there and that is it for accessories obviously get this base which i don't think i'll be using but advanced recon force trooper with the standard grabber obviously i want the the trooper on the ATRT, but that's an amazing trooper. Really impressed with it. You stand guard. So pairing the aft trooper with the ATRT, absolutely seamless. Uh, sits on top perfectly there. Don't know whether his body's been designed specifically for uh, you know the seated position, but um, obviously it works really well. Feet in those. Uh, foot rest things looking absolutely amazing absolutely blown away by this and depending on how high your ceilings are mine just about fits on top of a Detolf um, with the other the other vehicles there obviously not much not much room there between the antenna and the, the ceiling in this room but I need to get rid of that Artex <laughs> anyway, yeah looking amazing that glad it fits up there Give me a regular report, please. it's a versatile vehicle because obviously we can also put some other figures on it it is with the and a general Skywalker looking amazing it works really well that do you like that looking fantastic so what do i make of this set it's absolutely stunning not gonna lie it is unbelievably good the attention to detail like the materials the weathering just the sheer presence of this thing absolutely amazing it's proper stand out in the collection as well it really will stand out it's uh, like a pretty much a centerpiece i guess to your display and obviously we can factor in all these other Clone Wars figures. So we've got the heavy weapon trooper and the bark speeder with the sidecar and then the other bark speeder there. And then we've got Anakin on, on the STAP. Looking absolutely phenomenal this. You could have like a, if I had loads of space, you could have a proper mad Clone Wars sort of display going on here like an army of clones attacking it just looks unbelievably good 
you know, in the comments what you think about this lot. Absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, so let me know whether you're going to be picking this one up, adding it to your collection. Space might be an issue, but like I say, you can have it all folded down as well into that kind of sitting pose that it comes boxed as basically, which is fantastic. And the half trooper is ace as well. All right, if there's any drawbacks to this set, it is purely just, for me anyway, the uh, the leg armour on the half trooper is exactly the same as the 501st original one we got. The shoulder armour is different, like less weathered on the half trooper, um, more kind of weathering on, on the 501st, but yeah, the leg armour looks pretty much identical to me, that. It's a bit of a shame because uh, I always think I don't get duplicates because I don't like the weathering to be identical on two figures. But yeah, they've, they've done it for me here. I think <laughs> the colour might be slightly different, slightly darker on the original 501st. But, but yeah, that's a minor quibble really. It's, um, you're basically getting an amazing piece of hardware here with this vehicle and, and the true pepper. Pretty good value, I guess. So yeah, let me know if you're going to be picking this one up. Absolutely amazing. Awesome how it all folds down. True pull up ace articulation on the trooper. It's just standard clone trooper articulation with the armor and everything. Not not getting in the way because of the the nylon suit and the elasticated straps on the armor. So that, all that is good. No issues with that. This beast looks absolutely stunning as well. Absolutely phenomenal set. Like I say, let me know in the comments what you think. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like and subscribe. Really appreciate it. And you want to chat about this figure or anything else in the collection, I'll see you in the comments. Otherwise, see you in the next video. Take it easy.